I brought my bow and uh, my, my, my board, uh, spindle and handle. Now we had a fire ban here in uh, Norway for many months during summer. So I haven't practiced my bow drill skills since, uh, yeah, for, for many months. And you know, with the flint and steel, for instance, it's like when you, you don't, when you know how to do it, you can do it every time. Uh, the bow drill is, um, is different. You need to, um, you need to practice that skill, which I am going to do today. But first of all, I will give you a close up of the different pieces um, that you need. Okay, so <clears throat> I have an instructional video um, which I will link to. Uh, so this is not going to be like uh, how to do the bow drill. Well, a little bit of that as well. But here is a bow. You might have seen this one before. I know I should have made another one. And uh, I can make a video maybe uh, with the details uh, and how to make every all these pieces. Um, this is the hearth board or the fire board. Um, I've used it quite a few times and this is a handle that I made. Uh, this piece here is from the a leftover piece from a uh, an elm bow that I uh, like with a longbow that I made. And I put a coin in here that I made a uh, shaped so it's this part fits into it now this is um, the spindle it's very thick it shouldn't be as thick as this one i i realize now that i didn't bring a proper knife today i only have my pocket knife um, so i will try to use this as it is and see how that goes because of uh, laziness. <clears throat> yes, well, I forgot to mention on the way up here, I picked some some grass, some dried grass. Uh, it's not, well, it should be fairly dry actually. Um, and I'm going to make this into a uh, like we call it a bird's nest now some of you watching this uh, have done this many times yourself you know so <clears throat> i like to um, just you know rough it up a little bit and uh, i can feel now this this is a bit, this is not completely dry. I think this part is, these are dry. So I'll put this, uh, the ember will go here and it goes, like this. Something like this. Because it's it's quite windy, uh, this may well it's um, that adds to the challenge. I would say <clears throat> I need to put this under a few <clears throat> branches. Something like this, and 
I will, uh, as I said, I haven't been practicing this for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll use this, this one here. Okay. There's a little beetle on my spindle. <coughs> and I want to find a little leaf. Shouldn't be hard because of the season. This one. So what I'll do is I'll, <coughs> I'll uh, just start drilling and um, I'll give you a, a, then I'll pause and I'll give you a, uh, a close-up. Yeah, smoke. Okay, I'll just pause for a little little bit, and I'll bring the camera closer. Try not to uh, uh, knock the camera over with the bow. Okay. No, I don't think, no, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. This is uh, Aspen and uh, I think these are both Aspen from a tree that fell down over there, up there, up the hill there. No, not up the hill, up the path, like, uh, yeah, they are uh, destroying the forest and what happens is that at the edges of the areas where they move down all the trees then the wind tends to uh, blow those trees over as well so we end up with a woodland that's been well, lots of knocked over trees and mess.
I think this will be better. So, I'll try again. <clears throat> Yeah, this one is a lot better. Yoo-hoo! Fire! <laughs> I think this is something I need to practice on a regular basis, like like everyone else. So this fire ban uh, all through summer, you know, it was even illegal to have a barbecue in your own garden. So that's, yeah. Practice makes perfect, I guess. Mm. 